You know, I had a crazy idea, and it kind of came from the internet, and it said to take one of your keys and put it in an empty chest. Um, I don't know if this will actually do anything, but let's try it out. Oh god, it works! Oh my god. Okay. So that's what the keys are supposed to be for, apparently. So I guess if corrupt m mimics aren't spawning for you... I wonder if this means I could make a hallowed mimic, too. With the other key. Because that's how you could get those to work out, and we'd find out what's finally inside them. Oh god, they, they do jump right off the screen, though, don't they? Take a good look at it with this weird flaily tongue thing. Oh, there it's doing that thing where I thought it was invincible. Jagged poot... <laughs> no. Putin scent. No, putrid. Not... Not related to that Vladimir. What do we got here? A jagged putrid scent. Where is it? Is it in... Uh... Oh, there it is! Equipable. Enemies are less likely to target you. 5%... So... Wait. The putrid scent... Is not a material, so you can't combine it with anything else. All it does is give you 5% increased damage and critical strike chance. And... Hmm... I don't know if that really works the way it should in, like, say, multiplayer or anything. Hmm. That's extremely curious. But that begs the question, then. Say we were to teleport home. Uh, well, first of all. Give them the strange plant, just for the sake of it. What would happen if we were to go into our regular chest chest... And, uh, oh, I don't know. Put down something... Like, just a plain wooden one. And then fight it. Like, right here. Would, could I do that? Essentially choose the arena to fight these things in, and... Well, totally defeat it, honestly. Can I do that? Oh god, yeah, there's such thing as a hallowed mimic. Extremely interesting. And really easy to kill outside of a cave. Oh, it's doing that thing where it fires things at me, I think. Unless it doesn't actually fire things at me, and when it sits like this, it in fact is deflecting my bullets. Ooh, what is that? Flying knife. What in the world is the flying knife? Where is it? Um... Wish I could see it more clearly in my inventory. There it is. 43 melee damage. Throws a controllable flying knife. Oh, it kind of just hovers where my cursor is. Wait, why did my guy just get slain? This is a weird weapon that kind of gives the melee class another... Another odd thing. Like, this is forceful, which means it does extra knockback. 43 base. Hard to say if it's actually super powerful or not. But, uh, since my game really has no hallow exactly, that's gonna be a really nice way to, like, make sure I get whatever the hallowed in corrupt mimics drop, because I can just do that over and over again, providing I have enough souls. And I don't have that much money. Superior is pretty good. Especially if I don't plan on using it. I just, yeah. I'm just really curious as to what it, what, how it works. Just kind of flies around wherever my cursor is. Similar to a magic missile, but appearingly with no duration. That's interesting. That's going in here. I might I might switch to that in the future. It's on par with the item that I got from the Goblin Invasion. Whether that's a good thing or not, I'm not sure. 
I think we should just keep farming mimics for now and see what we can get. Uh, I do have a lot of souls of night. So let's grab these three regular chests. This isn't going to cost us anything at all, is it? And let's see if we can get something else besides a weird... Um, what's the word? A very strange trinket, an even stranger weapon. Let's see what happens here. Ooh. Still does... Or it's still able to do half my health and damage, so I shouldn't take it too lightly. It's so weird how it flies like that, though, because it's a chest. A worm hook. Huh. Worm hook. What determines where they go in my inventory, though? Okay, it's equipable. So, wait. Okay, we, we're going to have to test out which hook is better. Currently, I am using the dual hook. And uh, if I was standing on my base... Goes off the screen. Okay. Let's say, for example, can I hook this tier? Yes. Can I look, hook that tier from here? No. Actually, vertically is much easier to tell. When I'm standing against the base... It goes all the way to the tree in the background. Okay. How about now? A little bit farther. Okay, that's fair. Uh, what's it look like without this die, though? Like a cool little corrupt worm that matches my Eater of Worlds. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down with that. That's cool. It's not that much of an upgrade, per se, but... Uh... I'll take any upgrade I can get. Let's see what else these things can drop. Apparently, they have a lot of options. And they do have a lot of health, don't they? I don't know what I'm hoping for. I just want to know what they have. What are the chances? They seem to reliably drop an item every time. Okay, that's another worm hook. No big deal. That's just a redo. And since I have so many souls, it's no big deal at all. I think you just regularly find these things in the wild. Wait. Yeah, it seems like when they kind of sit down, they're immune to bullet damage, maybe. All damage, actually, but I would guess that... Oh, that's new! Oh, that's a gun! Oh, I can use that! Hasty Dart Rifle. Dart Rifle. Ooh, 72 damage. That's... That's very interesting. Now, of course, I don't have any darts. But could I make some darts? Probably. That's... That's... That's intriguing. I'm gonna have to figure out what all this stuff does off-screen. Because, uh... I don't know if it's actually worth showing. Certainly don't need any mana potions or anything like that. Let's grab us maybe three more. And we'll kind of get a good idea whether these things are, in fact, just dropping the same stuff every time. Because I have the souls to keep this going for a good while. Except for light ones. Now, we're going to have to find a good farming location for Souls of Light if we want to keep that up. But assuming that each mimic of each variety has different gains, I can see this being a very profitable enterprise. Ooh, this is what the glorified bullets do. We're finally onto those. Where'd you go? Talk about your DPS, huh? Yowza. And it didn't eat that much of it because, of course, I have lots of uh, ammo conservation chances. Let's do that again. 
Look at that. Oop. Gotta wait for it to unclose. Or open, I guess. <laughs> unclose and open are, in fact, the same thing. I wonder if there's actually an item cap, because these guys are just giving me worm hooks now. How many have we seen so far? The worm hook, the chain guillotine, the putrid scent, and of course... Was there anything else? We got that funny-looking knife from the other mimic, so not that. Oh, that's new. Forceful Clinger Staff. Okay, this is interesting. It does ooh, 49 magic damage. Fast speed uses... Creates a wall of cursed flames. Why is it doing nothing? Um, let's grab some mana crystals. Maybe I have to be on actual land here? Hmm... That seems unfortunate. So don't work on platforms. And it only creates one wall at a time. Um, assuming this... ...debuffs the enemies and possibly knocks them back. I don't know if that one is actually that good. Seriously, though. I mean, it creates a stationary thing sort of like a turret, so I can see its uses. Hmm... I have to figure out if this dart rifle's any good off-screen. Because we really need to uh, make some more chlorophyte bullets, because that's really all I have right now. Oh, these guys drop greater healing potions, too! That makes them even better. I don't know at what time I'd want to use a putrid scent. And these worm hooks are actually... Quite good in the money department for selling them. Eight gold each. It's not bad. Ooh, that's ten gold. Well, I'm not a mage, but... But I am going to want to basically collect each and every bit of, that, of things that I can here. Darts, though. That's, that's a new one. What? what? How do you make darts? Um. Hmm. The clinger staff away. I, I don't think it'd be worth attempting to fight Plantera with that. I mean, I might be able to make a wall somewhere, but it, it kind of goes all around the background. That ain't gonna help us much. Um, go back over here to our chlorophyte. Convert all this. How much did we actually get on that trip? That I recently got back from. 41 bars. Okay, that's pretty good. We make a chlorophyte pickaxe. Which is, in fact, not better than the other thing here. Might be a downgrade, because you can't shoot things with it. So, how do you make darts? Um, I can make arrows right now, because that's it. Hmm. Bouncing back is certainly not better than being able to shoot things. Uh, hey guide, how do you make darts? What do I need for that? Let's see here. Can I make glorified darts? I would assume so. I, one would hope so. Unfortunately, it looks like no. You can't make chlorophyte darts. Alright, I'm gonna have to figure out how the darts work. Um, I am a fan of bullets. Not gonna lie, bullets are my friend. You need to create a ton more of those. Don't like jester arrows. No, I don't. They don't, uh... They don't do it for me. Not as much as they used to. Although they do... Have the nice... Oh, oops. They do have the nice benefit of being piercing and very pretty. That's about it. 
Very unfortunate. I'll put the dart rifle away unless... My backup plan was when you talk to the uh, arms dealer, usually he has the ammo for whatever item you have, but he doesn't seem to have darts, nor, than, nor can I fire them. Oh, unless you can only get darts from, you know, someone who would have darts. A.K.A. the... where is he? Him. The witch doctor. You sell darts? You sell a blowgun, after all. Looks like, no, you don't... Even with the dart gun in my inventory, you don't seem to do anything. I'm, I can't keep a weapon with no ammo. I mean, that's crazy talk. It's a lot of damage, though. And I also have this quiver for arrows, so... I'm not particularly into changing my weapon set completely, but it's a possibility. Even as a ranger class, there's a lot of options you can do. Still no glorified... Darts. This is highly inefficient, but... Honestly, we're talking, like, a few silver. I lose that on a regular basis upon dying. <laughs> Alright. Um, I feel like I should fight at least two more Mimics, just in case I'm missing out on something that I could be. I think, I think there's more secrets to be had. It'd be really silly to go out and actually just go... Collecting wooden chests with the express purpose of just fighting more mimics. That sounds extremely dumb. But possible. Now that I've learned that this thing is a really good way to summon them, I'm way more into, uh, I guess, fighting these guys. Since they're a lot easier to find, you just have to spawn them in. There we go, another chain guillotine, so at least I know that wasn't a fluke. And one more, probably, for the last item that you can get from these guys? I don't know, would be. Wow, it doesn't even recognize that it's an enemy when it does its closing thing. It doesn't home in on it anymore. Did we kill it? Yeah, we did. And then a guarding putrid scent. Okay. Clearly something I don't need, but good to have. Actually, I'm going to sell it. Funny how the chain guillotine is only worth two silver. While this is worth nine gold. I'm guessing that's because you're intended... Like, it's intended that you reforge it easier, because... I know for a fact that depending on how much money an item can sell for is proportional to how much it will cost you to reforge it over and over again. But uh, one way to end this episode right now would be to show off how cool these chlorophyte bullets are by fighting a foe that we had some real trouble with before. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes, they're over here. I'm talking, of course, about the twins, the last boss, well, rather, the last mechanical boss that seriously gave me some trouble. Let's see what this is like now. Oh, I still need to put this on, though. Dodging is still very important. It's kind of hard to make sure that the one is closer so that it, they don't harm <laughs> home in on the second, even when I'm aiming at it. Okay, there we go. Phase two. Now, if I've actually learned anything, or rather gained much power, I will probably be able to kill these guys without dying. Yeah, it's looking like no! Oh, God. 
I still suck at this game sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean, I guess, all the time. Alright, I guess that's the thing to remember. Even though this game is lots of fun, it's still very serious when it comes to killing me. It's a little hard to make sure that I hit the green one specifically because my bullets are green. Okay. Gotta keep them in my sights, no pun intended, because these are, in fact, the twins. Okay. There we go. Now we gotta fo focus on mobility here. And by that I mean dodging. Okay, nope. I don't want to get eaten by spasmatism. There we go. Okay, we're halfway done. It's gonna get serious here in a minute. There we go. Set up our magic. There we go, he's transformed. Okay. This should be significantly easier than the first time I fought him, because I don't technically need to aim all that much. I mean, I can, but... There we go! Oh, man. I knew it was possible. I just... I just need to not take them for granted. That's the thing. I, I I take advantage of feeling superior, and then kablooey! That's where I fail all the time. Other things I can make now include... The rainbow rod, which does a ton of magic damage. If I had the crystals. Um, oh, fairy bell. Magic harp. Hmm. You know what? Let's make the bell. Let's finish this off by making the bell. I should be able to do that. Things I need include pixie dust. A bell. Actually, hey. Uh, please buy this mechanical wheel. It's It's not necessary. Um, let's see here. A pixie dust. Uh, souls of light. Wait, did I seriously need exactly eight? I did! Brilliant, we've got a fairy bell. Which gives us a strange rainbow fairy. Um, that's because of the living rainbow dye. If I took that off, it's a pink fairy. Or I could just have it forever as a glowing multicolored fairy, which is totally fine. I think that's that's a better upgrade than the shadow orb. I'll put that away, but I'm exclaim, extremely happy about how that has served this playthrough so far. Alright, I guess I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.